progress across many sectors in the midst of daunting setbacks. The impact of global economic dynamics adversely affected us, compounded by the war in Europe, rising interest rates in America, and the unfortunate effects of climate change that occasioned the most severe drought in 40 years. All these factors slowed down our economic performance, resulting in increased commodity prices. Fertilizers and cereals experienced significant price hikes, contributing to the rise in food prices and the overall cost of living. To manage, moderate, and overcome these difficulties, this year became the year of a complete paradigm shift in the handling of our national issues. We, collectively, summoned the courage to make bold, decisive, far-reaching, and long-term decisions to once and for all put our country on the path to attaining its full socioeconomic potential. The choices, <clears throat> the choices we've made over the last year were neither easy, populist, nor convenient. They were, however, meaningful, appropriate, and necessary. In the short term, painful, but in the long term, gainful. 2023 is the year we decided to stop wastage and extravagance, instead opting to live within our means. We decided to cut expenditure by up to 400 billion shillings so as to reduce our borrowing. We decided to enhance our tax revenues by Kenya shilling 600 billion to fund our programs and development so as to safeguard our sovereignty and independence. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we certainly cannot be independent if we are enslaved by monumental debt as has been the case. We take pride in the strides we've made as a nation. We have triumphed over the threat of economic stagnation and are now in secure space with regard to our sovereign debt obligations. Inflation has reduced to 6.8% and our GDP is growing at a rate of 5.4%, placing Kenya as the 29th fastest growing economy in the world. In 2023, we decided to get rid of consumption subsidies that not only drove our nation into deeper financial distress, but were also unsustainable, opaque, and only benefited middlemen at the expense of those who truly deserved support. Instead, we deliberately redirected our focus to support production through incentives in our crops, livestock, and fisheries programs. Today, with a blessing of good weather, thanks to God, these interventions have enabled us to increase our food productivity by 40% at a fraction of the previous cost. Working with farmers, our foremost patriots, we shall double our efforts in 2024 until we reduce our Kenya shillings 500 billion food import bill to zero and rid our country of the shame of hunger. In 2023, 